this video, we'll be looking at how we can install and create our Docker image for BWC 2.2. So I created a folder on my desktop and it holds the zip file that I downloaded. And then I unzip that zip. Within that folder, I have multiple subfolders, typical home, BWC 2.2, Docker resources, and BWC runtime. Essentially what I have to do is take the zip file I downloaded it and put it within the BWC runtime folder. So I'll open a new finder window, and I'm going to go to desktop, docker zip, and I'm going to drag and drop the zip file into the BWC runtime folder. So what's going to happen is that the docker file, when it's essentially creating the image, it's going to use the zip file in making the image. So I'll open up the docker file, and we'll see that we use the Debian base image. You can set a maintainer. So what I'm going to do is actually just put my own name, you can put whatever you want. So delete the one that's currently there, set my own name, and then I'm going to run a chmod and essentially run a script that installs whatever was inside the zip file. So I'm going to open up my terminal, I'm going to add my docker zip folder, so I have to navigate to where the docker file is. So I'm just going to drill down into the folders and go to that folder itself. So I'm going to run a docker build with this docker file. So docker build, and then I'm going to tag it tipco bwc and we'll do 2.2 because that's the version that I'm currently running and then the dot at the end. So it's just like a normal um, Docker build. If you've done any type of Docker deployment, it's pretty much the same. And so I'll run it and it'll take that Docker file and it'll run through that script. And so now we've seen that it's been successfully built. And to check to make sure, we're going to run Docker images. And we'll see that our typical PWC with the tag 2.2 is there, created eight seconds ago. So that's the one we just created. And yeah, um, thank you for watching the video. I hope this was helpful in getting 2.2 image installed.